All right, guys, so it's been a super long time uh, since I last uploaded. Uh, it's been since mid-August, and a lot of you guys have been asking where I've been, and I really appreciate that. The answer to that is it's been a while since I posted because um, basically, you know, I realized that, uh, you know, making, you know, making YouTube videos isn't just about filming it and, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, you could film it and just upload it, but, you know, you, you, for me, I have to edit it, make the thumbnails, do a bunch of other stuff. And at the same time, it was eating up a lot of my time and I was starting my senior year. So I don't want it to, you know, get in my way of my senior year. Um, but now I'm back after what, I was, October, but with three months, that was a good three months, but still. Um, but anyways, I did get Disney Plus uh, last week when it first launched, and I was watching Frozen on uh, my 86-inch 4K TV, so uh, it looks fantastic on 4K, by the ways. But um, yeah, a lot has happened ever since August, and um, well, now I'm back, and I'm going to go to the theater, going to take Lyft to the theater to go see Frozen 2 and IMAX. I hope the movie's good. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's do our first movie day in three months. So let's go. Alright guys, so I did watch Frozen 2 and I did watch it in IMAX. Of course, I'm wearing my Frozen 2 shirt from work, so uh, why not? I figured it would be a perfect time to wear the shirt. But anyways, yeah, I did see this movie in IMAX and just being, uh, ju just get over with whether you should pay extra to see this movie in IMAX or not. Honestly, it's not really that much worth it. I didn't think that there was like many scenes in this movie that I was like, oh, this is the move type of movie they need to watch in IMAX. No, it's like... I, I, I feel like the only reason why this movie was released in IMAX screens is just to get more money out of um, paying customers who would be willing to pay to watch Frozen 2 in IMAX, but personally I didn't get that impression. Like The, the, the movie itself, it, it looks beautiful because the animation is beautiful and uh, some of the musical numbers really do stand out in IMAX, but it's just, it's an okay experience. It's it's not really worth paying the extra six to eight dollar surcharge that IMAX charges for your movie ticket. So IMAX not really worth it, but uh, you can watch this movie in standard and I'm sure you'll be fine. But anyways, let's talk about Frozen 2 because this was one of my most anticipated movies of this year. I was uh, so looking forward to this movie. And um, I remember seeing the first movie in 2013, walking out of that movie thinking it was the best movie of that year. Well, that was six years ago. I was only, what, 11 years old? Oh, 11 years old, I'm 17 years old now. And, uh, you know, re-watching the first movie uh, yesterday before I watched Frozen 2, I don't love it as much as I, used to, as I used to when I was uh, 11 years old, but I do like the movie still. And I had high hopes for the sequel because, of course, the, the sequel basically grew with the audience. Uh, like, they knew that the, everyone who was a kid, uh, when they saw the first Frozen movie, well, they're six years older now, so they're probably more mature, more matured up and everything. Uh, so the second Frozen movie, uh, at least from the feel of the trailers, I could tell that they wanted to go with a more mature vibe. But after watching the movie, like, it honestly didn't feel like it was, like, all that mature at all. It just kind of felt like it had the same exact tone in the first movie, which, um, it's kind of disappointing because I felt like they were going to give us something different, something more adventurous with this sequel and I think that uh, disappointing is the best uh, word to describe this movie because I was very disappointed walking out of the theater for Frozen 2 
it just it, it didn't feel like it had nothing new to offer and it mainly felt like this movie was forced just because the first one made a billion dollars and because this one is probably going to make a billion dollars as well so it just felt like the sequel was made just for the sake of money and it, it, the movie did, didn't have the same effect on me as the first one did when i was a kid now don't get me wrong little kids are gonna love this movie but personally i just thought that the movie was kind of sloppy and really forced i felt like the movie was just forcefully like put together one day in, in the disney headquarters and i felt like they just like said oh well we have to make it for frozen 2 because frozen made a billion dollars and we're still making money off the merchandise so we have to put something quick together and they're like yeah let's just make it let's try to make it more mature let's try um to add in all these characters make the audience feel like they care for those characters but they really don't and i think that's like my main problem with the movie is the fact that um we have all these characters you know you got elsa olaf uh anna Kristoff. All these characters that uh, you already know and love from the first movie and that you already care about. And the first 30 minutes of this movie are honestly probably the best thing that this movie has to offer. Um, or at least one of the best things that the movie has to offer because the first 30 minutes you're being reintroduced to these characters that you already know and love. And you're kind of catching up with them. But after those first 30 minutes, the movie has like this weird shift where the movie mainly re, uh, focuses on Elsa, which I really don't mind. The, like the movie, basically the rest of the movie after the first 30 minutes is Elsa's movie, which I really do not mind, but it's just that they push every other character to the curb and they just like lazily just like write them out of the adventure. And like, you're just kind of like, you're just kind of sitting there thinking, well, what's the purpose of having those perfect 30 minutes being set up? if you're gonna push every other character to the side like Kristoff uh who you have to admit he was a pretty big part of the first movie and he was very helpful and very useful in that first movie and in this movie they kind of make him look like a goofball and they just push him off to the side and they give him his own subplot where he's trying to propose to Anna and it's just uh the same joke over and over again with Kristoff and it just kind of gets old and repetitive and he's just pushed to the side and they really don't do anything with his character which is super annoying because he was really good in that first movie same thing for anna anna they just again they push her to the side and there's no character arc for her character and she really kind of goes nowhere and i kind of got bored of her character which is kind of weird because her character her character has always been so energetic and so likable that in this movie they found a way to make her boring and kind of not stand out from all the other characters uh olaf though um i will say olaf is personally my favorite character still a lot of people find him super annoying in this movie but honestly uh, i thought that he was one of the best parts of this movie and he has the best scene in the entire movie where he recaps everything that has happened in the first movie and um i just loved olaf so much in this movie uh, he really saved this movie from a lot as well and Elsa I do like Elsa a lot in this movie because again it's more of her movie and again the writers sacrificed the other characters to focus more on Elsa um, they did a good job focusing on Elsa and more of her uh, story and what she does and uh, they definitely give her some badass moments in this movie of course one of the scenes involving like a water horse which is honestly really cool but um, other than that, like, basically, like, even the newer characters that they introduce to the movie, like, they try to make you care for the new characters, but there just isn't enough scenes with those characters so you could, like, kind of, like, feel like you really do care for them. Like, they're just there just because they're supposed to be there because it's a sequel and they're supposed to add in new characters. And these new characters, like, do nothing. They're just, like, kind of standing there in the background um doing nothing but just being new characters and yeah, I, honestly they kind of had no purpose to be honest with you um the movie's writing the, again aside from the first 30 minutes the movie's writing is a little all over the place it's kind of sloppy but i do see why they made certain decisions that they did make in the end of the day and um some you know the animation of course is stunning there's a scene where elsa's like sucking like all of the uh, evaporated water out of the ground and then they just like focus on the water and it looks like it's like actual like real life water similar to what they did with Toy Story 4 where that scene in the beginning with Woody and Bo Peep the rain looked super realistic that's how realistic even I'd even say even more a little bit more realistic how the water looks like in this movie um, but overall like the movie itself like I see why they made it 
it's a business move. Why wouldn't you make a Frozen sequel when the first movie made a billion dollars? But I felt like I felt like the movie looked really good on paper, but when they were just like actually making the movie, like it just kind of fell apart somehow. Um, I don't think the movie's bad. I actually think it's decent, just that the movie has so many problems going for it, especially with all the potential that the movie had. It was just really disappointing to see that this movie could have honestly been something amazing, maybe something extraordinary like the first Rosen movie, but it just comes out to be one of those mediocre Disney sequels. And uh, of course, I got Disney Plus now, and in an and age where Disney Plus is a thing now, I felt like this could have been more of a straight to Disney Plus movie, which is kind of sad considering that it's a Frozen movie. But um, anyways, yeah, I was super disappointed with this movie. The animation's great, the voice acting is all great. All the voice actors do a fantastic job. And um, there are some redeeming qualities about the movie, the first 30 minutes and some of the scenes with Olaf and some things do kind of make sense, but like there's another half that like, I, I don't really see why, why like they even did it to begin with. Um, and the movie is just kind of messy, kind of sloppy. And I, I felt like if they really wanted to make a good Frozen sequel instead of just wanting to make another billion dollars from this franchise, um, I felt like they, they, they could have came out with something pretty good. But the movie, it's not, it's not bad. I don't think it's uh, all that great, but it's just in the middle. Like, I thought it was okay, it was fine. I didn't really care for it, to be honest with you. So, um, with that being said, I'm gonna say that uh, I would originally say for the for my um, rating system for Frozen 2, I would say that you should wait for Netflix, but this movie's not going to Netflix. This movie's going to Disney Plus. So I would say that this movie is Disney Plus worthy. And with that being said, I'm gonna give Frozen 2 a C plus. So that's what I thought about Frozen 2. I thought it was an okay movie. I'm gonna rewatch it when it comes on Disney Plus, hoping that I like it a little bit more, but I don't know. I feel like I'm still gonna feel the same way that I feel about the movie now. But anyways, have you guys seen Frozen 2? Um, it's Thanksgiving weekend. I know a lot of you guys are gonna go watch the movie for the holidays with the family. And uh, so yeah, you've seen this movie already. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Um, anyways, yeah, first video in a few months. It feels really nice to be with you guys again, talking about, uh, you know, reviewing movies and doing these movie days. I really missed doing these videos, actually. But anyways, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.